But the Greyhounds or the uh, Cavaliers will get it back. Quick outlet of must right here. On defense. Let's see if Virginia takes advantage of that. Virginia struggled last year, 7-8 and eight overall, but 0-4 oh in the Atlantic Coast Conference. As they try and rebound with a new coach. Here's a shot, and Stover's beat up top. Who was next to the ball, stepped in to support him. They, the Virginia player drifted and wound up getting a really good shot on goal, and they shot it with a ton of velocity. Yeah. Now behind the goal, had a man come free for a moment. That was Kraus, We lost the handle. Some quick passing here by the Cavaliers, and now they'll reset. I see him having one game plan in here, and they're going to try that game plan out, and when, they, when the game's over, they're going to try to figure out what they want to fix. Mm -hmm. Again, see this topside picking game here that allows them to get to the middle of the field? They're putting some stress on Loyola with that. And an opportunity here, a goal! Goal. So that's the first riding goal or loose ball goal that Virginia's gotten today. Jason Murphy, their face-off ace, put that one home. Coach, you're talking about the, the stress of Back to Aitken. And it's knocked away by the Greyhounds, but picked up quickly by Zed Williams of the Cavaliers, trying to back his man in, did a little quick wrister there, and it was wide to the near side, out of bounds. The Cavs keep it. 3-2 to two here, 3 2 to go in the first quarter. You know, Coach Williams for playing attack for the first time looks pretty comfortable, right? Yeah. That top side there with his body looked very comfortable. Oh, what a pass by Lukovic. You and the quality of the shot, not the intent <laughs> of the shot. <laughs> this is Zed Williams against the shorty on the wing, which you'll think Loyola might commit to this pretty easy, pretty quickly. There's a bouncing pass picked up by French and out of bounds, and still Cavaliers keep it. Coach, if you're on ball and you're trying to keep somebody down the alley, do you have to play that, that back shoulder? Loyola just went to a zone right now. They didn't like the way Virginia was bopping the ball around. So we'll see how the zone will affect them now. At this stage in the season, Coach, of a team's development, how many things are worked in at this point? Well, Loyola returns 8 of 10 starters, so they probably got a lot more and – a lot more in than Virginia does. And, and probably Virginia doesn't have a there for Virginia. Just knocked the Dodger down, and now they're running. Here come the Cavs. They'll slow it down at least for a moment. Well, that was Aiken with the big hit. So Aiken with a uh, with a goal and then is also showing that he's to be reckoned with. The box. Pass behind the goal. Zed Williams lost the handle. Whistle, oh, Greyhounds boy. ball. Boy, that was just fundamentally perfect. Dini did a really good job right there having one man play two. Here's the wing pick again. Zed Williams goes under, backward flip. That shot high, out of bounds. Cavs get it back. Pressure this early in the year. Usually the weather affects it also, but that's not happening today. But you're right, Chris. I think Virginia's been good. If they can't pick it up, goosing it to a guy, swatting it to a guy, they've been pretty good on the ground. They've got talent. You know, they got some players. And they're playing together right now. Credit to Coach Tiffany and his staff. I guess, Coach, when you philosoph ball. philosophically. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it, what it is is you're, you, again, er, trying to push the tempo. You make bad decisions. Some, it, people think backside, again, they played the wing there. People think running. Tiffany's Cavaliers at this point. Well, I mean, these are Dom Starge's players playing Lars Tiffany style, so it looks like a combination <laughs> of both. And there's a shot of bouncer that came close to Stover. By Murphy. Yeah, it, I think it's been a good matchup, right? But I think Virginia's kind of pulled ahead here. Like. Yeah. They really do a good job of attacking from the wing. Oh, Mitzloff, and he'll get flagged for that. He hit Williams, and that maybe a bit high, a bit hard. Boyle did a good job of subbing their shorties in there. UVA on offense right now with a three-goal lead. Savio, and it's going to be won by UVA, and they're on offense and moving. Zed Williams, great trail check there by their captain. And now they can't give up a second. Nice. Again, another. Here we go. Now you got a four and three. Coach, in that situation, Bagley did a nice job getting through the pick. Zed Williams, push back. 
Something's loose on the field, I believe. It's I think somebody lost the shoe. Got him. <laughs> this is a fun game to watch. I, I think the fans are getting their money's worth today. It, the, and, you know, when neither of them have lost, really left their character. Virginia has sped up Loyola to a point. Now Loyola's getting comfortable. Loyola's wearing down Virginia. And it's just, you know, the, it's just a really good game to watch. Timeout, the first timeout of the day for Lars Tiffany, correct? Hey, time. Coach Toomey would have been fine with it. He would have done anything to win. Here's a two-man pick on the wing, trying to get top side. Throwback, it's tough. See, Coach, that, that not only tests you physically, Can but Loyola come up with it. Cavaliers come up with it, and they have numbers coming back the other way. Here's a shot, and it's Ooh. wide to the near side, out of Ooh. bounds. Got they have guys that are good room at time. They have guys that are good and tight. Here oh. comes that wing pick again with Zed Williams. Uh, they didn't play it well. They There's a shot and a goal. They didn't play it well again. It was two on one. Big deck. What would you prefer there? Would you prefer for the defense to slough off and let him get through? The well, they're trying. On ball? They're trying. That, that's exactly what they tried to do. The, the problem is when you get to the middle,